Today, I'll show you three ways to control gross beats time and volume slot selection. First, a quick reminder of what gross beat can do. Too easy. For live control, click the gross beat interface to focus it and play keys on your MIDI controller. C4 and above selects time slots. C1 and above for volume slots. Generally though, you'll want to automate gross beat for use in a project. Let's see how to use automation clips or the piano roll. First, automation clips. Right click either the time or volume slots and select create automation clip. The problem is to gain precise control over the slot to automation clip relationship. First, right click the control point and select the type hold. This creates a hold step. Then select the slot you want to use and right click it and copy and then paste the value onto the automation clip control point. Copy value and paste to a new control point again. Right click the automation clip to add control points. Easy. The second method is to control the slots from the piano roll. To do this we need a fruity keyboard controller. Start by adding a fruity keyboard controller to the project. There's a couple of useful presets for the controller that scale notes to use the black and white notes or just the white notes to control slots. After adding the controller, right click the time or volume slots and select link to controller and then link the notes of the keyboard controller to gross beat. Now you can use a piano roll from the keyboard controllers channel to select slots. Put this pattern into the playlist as usual and you'll be controlling gross beat. So there were two simple methods for gaining project-based control over gross beat, automation clips and the fruity keyboard controller. Myself, I prefer automation clips, one for time and one for volume slots. Until next time, enjoy controlling your gross beat slots.